14 uh, tons of CO2. Yeah, 14 tons. One container. How much is a container? Like it's about it 70 weigh? cubic meters, right? And yeah. I know you know your cubic meters, right? You're a metric guy. No, I just... Uh, All right, so it's not 14. I'm a switching okay. I'm a, I'm a All right. bi-directional. So uh, it's about 400 packs, 430 packs. 430 packs in an average 2,500 square foot house, just the wall area at two inches thick. Uh, it's about five houses. Okay. So if you take 14 tons of CO2 sequestered in the container at port on the West Coast uh, and divide that by five houses, um, you get about, two, you know, what, two and a half to three two tons half, yeah. sequestered per house just in the insulation, mm -hmm. right? So that's yeah. just, that's CO2 saved, pulled out of the atmosphere and saved for the life of the building. So hopefully this job, this stuff's gonna do its job and protect that building and keep it from right. falling down and the owners will love it and right. it'll stand for a long time and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's what we're building for. We're building for longevity so that this, this carbon will stay in the building for 100 plus years, yeah. at least. Yeah, once we, once we make the building stand up, that carbon's, you know, that, uh, um, the emission from the act of building and using all the building materials is there. So the longer we can amortize that uh, carbon release over a longer period of time, then um, the better yield about on the embodied energy that we use to produce a building with. So cork is just a great thing. It always kind of spun my head, kind of like, okay, this stuff comes on a boat all the way from Portugal. How could it be sequestering more CO2 than it's holding? And I guess the answer is, it's tree bark. 